Emily, my daughter. I know that one day you'll be grown up. And I wonder what you'll remember of these years. Will you recall your time as a child with fondness? Or were there too many caretakers, formal dinners and lessons about boring old history? Maybe the precious hours we spent together will shine brighter. Time captured now and then with your mother and with Corvo, who was always close to my heart. I hope the season of rats and plague will be nothing more than a passing shadow on your early memories. A crisis come and passed, weathered by your mother and her advisors. You'll sit on the throne someday, and will do well, I hope. It's a tricky life, full of responsibility and peril. It was not your choice to be the daughter of an empress, but I believe you'll rise to the challenge. Stay good-hearted, Emily. Keep drawing and telling stories, and only share your power with those you truly trust. Restrict the wandering eyes that look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches a man's fancy in one moment, but brings calamity in the next.
A citywide ban on whale oil is now in effect. Citizens are encouraged to bring any whale oil in their possession to the city watch at once. Anyone caught burning oil will be subject to arrest. This message is a directive from the Lord Regent himself. We must all trust it. Regent. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the Regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions would be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandician continent and let them take care of the poor. Us. The plan worked perfectly at first, but the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. 
Soon it didn't matter. Rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, die you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an Empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick. But there's also a woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for her wife. And then Giles dies. Yeah. <laughs> 